Uh, hello, my name is D. My name is Noor. For this project, we were asked to create a flowchart that demonstrates the processes involved in an ATM machine. The account we are testing has a balance of $100 and an overdraft of $100. The ATM should be able to process a withdrawal request and dispense the request if it is determined as possible. The major steps in solving this problem were processing card and pin entries. This was relatively simple, but a big issue I had was understanding how to process a withdrawal request if the request was over $100. We knew this process would be complicated, so we discussed how we could use the overdraft to our advantage. Using this, we created different sequences to follow depending on how much the request was over the $100 balance. So to start, I'm going to be explaining the first few steps in our flowchart. First, you insert your card, and then if your card is valid, you may move on to the next step. However, if your card is not valid, the ATM has a validation error and you can try inserting the card again. Once your card has been validated, you may move on to the next step. The next step in our flowchart is to enter your PIN number. If the PIN is valid, you may move on to the next step. If it is not, the ATM will have a PIN validation error and you can try to enter your PIN again. After that, the ATM displays your account balance, which is $100, and you can move on to the next step. Uh, the next step is to enter your withdrawal request. There are four withdrawal scenarios. One where the account has sufficient funds, one where the overdraft is required and used, another where the overdraft is required but not used, and the fourth where the request goes over the overdraft limit. I'll start with the first scenario. Once you enter your withdrawal request, the ATM checks if there are sufficient funds in this account. If there are, the ATM processes the withdrawal, dispenses the money, and then updates the account balance. Then it ends the transaction. The second scenario would be if there weren't enough funds in this account. Then you would move on to this step. The ATM would check if the withdrawal is more than $100 over the account balance. If the withdrawal is more than $100 over the account balance, the ATM can't make the transaction and ask to try again. This will prompt the user to either request another withdrawal or end the transaction. The next scenario would happen if the withdrawal is less than $100 over the account balance. The user enters whether to with whether to overdraft or not. If they overdraft, the ATM processes the $100 overdraft and follows the rest of the withdrawal sequence. However, if the user decides not to use overdraft, the ATM can't make the transaction and asks to try again. To test our flowchart, we will explain two possible withdrawal scenarios. One simple scenario would be a withdrawal of $75. The first steps would be to swipe your card, which is valid, and enter your PIN, which is valid. The ATM will display the balance of $100 after you would request for a $75 withdrawal. Since $75 is less than $100, there are sufficient funds in the account. The ATM will be able to process the withdrawal of the requested amount. Then it will dispense the $75. Once that has happened, the ATM will update the account balance. In this case, there will be $25 left in the account and you may end the transaction. Uh, the withdrawal of $300 is slightly more complicated. The first steps would be similar in where you swipe your card, which is then validated. Then you can enter your PIN, which is also then validated. The account then displays, the ATM then displays the $100 balance in the account. In this request of $300, there are not sufficient funds, so the ATM checks if the uh, requested amount is over the $100 overdraft limit. Since it is more than $100 over, the ATM is unable to process the transaction, and the user is prompted whether they want to try again or end the transaction. After testing these two scenarios, we know that our ATM flowchart is functional and meets the requirements that we were asked by our management.